Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Schaffner here. Today I'm going to read From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Hellingham and illustrated by Barry Wiseman. From Caterpillar to Butterfly. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid it on a leaf. It says the egg is tiny. It is the size of a pinhead. A butterfly is an insect. When the caterpillar hatches out of the egg, it is hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat, so it will grow and grow and grow. The caterpillar is also called a larva. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillars. Each day it gets bigger. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a, bot a button of silk. This is the button right up there. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. So here it shows he's building his chrysalis. The chrysalis is also called a pupa. Each or Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on to the, to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly 
will be ready to fly. I am two hours, oh, in two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coil tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistles, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. This one is a monarch butterfly. This one is a black swallowtail. This one is a cabbage white. This one is a dog face butterfly. This one is a common blue, and this one is a buckeye. The end.